Welcome to the Geek Static. This is an Expanded Universe Legends book review of Rogue Planet. Star Wars Rogue Planet is part of the Expanded Universe or Legends timeline. It's written by New York Times best-selling author Greg Bear. Now it takes place after the events of Episode 1. It is the 16th event on the Expanded Universe Legends novel timeline according to the, uh, the key inside a Legends Manor book. So this tale takes place after the events of The Phantom Menace, which means we have Obi-Wan Kenobi and his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker. Now they are assigned on this mission to go find a lost Jedi on the planet Zenoma Sakat. It's rumored that some of the fastest ships in the galaxy come from Zenoma Sakat. It's why one of the Jedi went there, went missing, what's going on? Let's send Obi-Wan and Anakin to go check things out. Well, this technology is so unique with these planets because they're not just built like your average spaceship. No, they are grown organically. So, of course, you've got the Jedi there trying to get a simple mission accomplished, undercover, trying to get a ship built so they can study this technology. But then, of course, everything has to go absolutely crazy, off the rails, when another party gets involved and wants to study that technology for a more sinister plan. So let's talk about characters. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi, we've got Anakin, we've got Tarkin. I'm going to talk about Tarkin and uh, Anakin. So let's talk about Anakin Skywalker. Of course, he's young. He's the apprentice of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, he knows who he is. He's the chosen one. But he's conflicted as well because he knows there's a lot of stuff that has to happen. He's going to have some trials that come down upon him. He's just worried if he's going to go take the right path or if he's going to fall down a darker path. And there are some great inner conflicts that he has in this story. I like how he also keeps uh, Kenobi on his toes quite a bit. So to talk about Tarkin real quick, he is a powerful military man. He's smart. He knows how to bring himself out on top most of the time. Definitely you don't want to be friends with this guy because you might find a knife in your back or find yourself falling down the ranks rather than climbing up. So he would probably be a great chess player. I like how he gets himself into situations and usually comes out on top most of the time. He's a, he's a jerk. And now for my overall thoughts. I did not like this book. I thought it was very dull and boring. Very goofy concepts in the book. I mean spaceships that grow from little seeds that attach to people that they bond with. Very strange. There's a spaceship in the book called the Star Sea Flower. What? Uh, Foodkin is a name also. I don't like it. Uh, the, the chemistry between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin was done pretty well. Uh, the conflict within Anakin, that was good. But there's just so much goofy things in this book that I could definitely do without. Like, like the little pods, the, the, the ship connects to the uh, the bonded one. Something that's not explained is that Obi-Wan Kenobi uses Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber. Never noticed that on the front that uh, Obi-Wan is using a green lightsaber. Very weird. Does not fit in great with anything. I mean, it talks about the saber. Oh, this is Qui-Gon's saber. He uses it. Why? Why is he doing that? Where's his lightsaber? What? There are a lot of stupid things that happen in this book. I wish I would have written them down. But that's for you also to decide when you read this book, if you do. Because um, I know some people are going to like it. But, I mean, like I said, the only great thing was the relationship between Obi-Wan and Anakin. There were just a lot of really goofy things that I didn't like. There there were some cool descriptions, though, when it does come to the planet Zenoma Sakat. There's like a huge scar on the planet. Very cool, which I guess that ties into another book. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. People have told me in the past, but it does connect to a story later on down in the Expanded Universe timeline. So do I recommend that you pick up and read Star Wars Rogue Planet by Greg Bear? No. But if you want to read the entire Star Wars Expanded Universe, then you'll want to go ahead and pick it up. I've got a link down in the description box below. If you would like to order the book, go ahead and do so. I also have a link to a lot of uh, Expanded Universe material that I've created over on Redbubble. Check that out. Up next in the Star Wars Expanded Universe will be Outbound Flight by Timothy Zahn. And that'll do it for this video. Check me out at thegeeksaddict.com and find me across all social media at thegeeksaddict. Have a good one.